Well, I'm honored to have uh, with me this morning. She is in our studio. And uh, Jen Rosati, of course, has just uh, done so much for basketball, but more than just basketball. She is a woman who is uh, devoted, devoted to people, devoted to the state. Fifteen years, as I mentioned, with the University of Hartford. And uh, good morning. Good morning, Jen. Great to have you with us on the broadcast. Well, good morning to you, too. I'm happy to be here on this early Monday morning. You're... <laughs> well, maybe not early for you, but early for a basketball coach. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jen, you know, uh, I was at the university yesterday. had a yeah. big graduation. And uh, we were talking about what you have contributed to the university. We were talking about it before we had our luncheon. And uh, it is just just amazing, 15 years, what you have done. And uh, first of all, somebody asked me about recruiting. How do you go about recruiting? Uh, well, it's uh, most people are surprised to learn that it is kind of a year-round, nonstop process. Because once, you know, last month we signed our uh, com- incoming class for next year, and we're already started on the juniors and sophomores in high school. So... It, it never really ends, and it's something that you have to stay on top of. You have to, vi- you know, watch kids play constantly. You have to be texting them. You have to be up to date on the social media that they're, you know, they're a part of. And you have to find a way to make that personal connection to get those kids to want to come play for you. And then on top of all of that, you have to then sell your school and your program. And, you know, it can be really difficult. It's this this generation of, of kids nowadays is a lot harder to recruit than when I started 15 years ago. You know, uh, Jen, when you stop to think about it, uh, 289, 289 career victories <laughs> is the most among all current and former America East head coaches. Well, that's just because that I've been. Incredible. That's because I've been here a long time, so they've been piling <laughs> up, but not not enough for the likes of me the last few years. Um, but you know, it's 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 been a special place and. I try not to really quantify or qualify my career at Hartford just on those, you know, career victories because when I think about what our coaching staff and what our girls have done for the university, I think it's more about bringing, you know, positive publicity and a positive attention to the university as a whole. And we're graduating every year, these kids, you know, who are great citizens. They do community service. They excel in the classroom our team has had over a 3.2 gpa for like 10 semesters in a row um in addition to being great sports on the basketball court so we like to think that we're succeeding um as coaches we're succeeding in preparing these kids for life and putting you know great young women out in the in the real world and helping them be successful and i think that we've made that that we've impacted the university in that way more than anything you know uh jen uh, we all remember you when you started, and uh, a long and you time ago G- now. <laughs> no, it uh, it really isn't though. When you stop to think about it, yeah. uh, you and and uh, and Gino and those those great years. I'll remember always. I was in Washington D.C. doing a broadcast, and uh, the bus was waiting for us. And we said, "Can you wait just a few minutes more?" Because UConn is playing, and the game's about to get, uh, you know, become history. And uh, that was uh, another time that we uh, appreciated the, <laughs> the uh, tremendous uh, passion and inspiration that you had as a as a young ball player. Yeah, well, it was special times. I think um, you know, I think all of us that were a part of that group in the uh, mid '90s are very proud of you know being a part of the UConn family, especially right at the beginning. And um, you know, we kind of exploded on the national scene and haven't looked back since. And um, you know, every kid that goes there and chooses to play for UConn, I think all of us are a part of that because we we set the bar high, we set the expectation high, and Gino and his staff has just done a phenomenal job of being able to sustain that level of play and that level of excel- excellence. And now that I'm in coaching, I think I appreciate it even more how hard that is. It really is. It really is hard. It's it's fun to build up a program, but it's hard to keep it at the top. And so I have the ultimate respect for for what Gino and Chris Daly and those guys up there have been able to do year year in and year out. What is the future for Jen Rosati? <laughs> you got, you, I mean, I know everybody yeah. asks you yeah. that, but yeah. i got to ask you that because we, you know, you're such a part. And I, so ironic that I was on the campus for the big graduation yeah. yesterday. 
uh, at at uh, U of H, and you were in the conversation. So well, is Hartford going to be? Yeah. Well, I think that it's um you know it's not really planned out for me at this point. Um, I've made it very clear over the last decade that um, my my family is my priority right now in life. And I feel very fortunate to be able to coach at a place that makes me really happy, that supports everything that I do as a professional, as a mother, and as a wife. Um, I appreciate coaching at a place where I get a bunch of great kids to work with every day. That makes me excited to go to work. Um, and they've supported me from Walt Harrison to Pat Miser to now our new athletic director, Anton Goff. So I'm not in a rush to leave somewhere where I can be happy both personally and professionally. I know long term I want to be at a place where I can win a national championship, and I'm not sure Hartford's that place. So if the time comes when my kids grow up and they're about to go off to college themselves and um, you know they, they're ready to live their own lives, that I can be at a place where I can do that, and I know a lot of people just assume that that's UConn and it's not, um, then, then I'll be ready to go then. But um, you know, right now I have a great uh, support system and family network of people who help me raise my kids in Connecticut with their family, with their grandparents and their cousins and aunts and uncles, and it's an ideal situation for me. So Hartford's a place for me short term, and long term, um, I want to find the right fit for me professionally, and I'll worry about some of my career goals at that time. Jen, this has uh, been terrific this morning. It's been a big, uh, a big uh, go, go, Jen Rosati for me. <laughs> I tell you personally, you've always been one of my favorites, Thank and you, uh, you really epitomize what uh, uh, a woman in sports should be and and that's what you have been and are so god bless you and continued success yeah, well i always appreciate you having me on and supporting our program and uh we've got a couple home games coming up i want to make sure we highlight because we have penn state coming in on wednesday at seven o'clock and that's a big game for us and we're hoping to have a great crowd and then we're home again next sunday against sacred heart um and one of our former players is on that coaching staff so you know, three home games coming up in a row. We really need our fans to get out and help us get over the hump here with a few wins before Christmas. And uh, like I said, I appreciate your support of us. And, um, you know, we, we just feel fortunate to be in a great community here in Hartford and Bloomfield and West Hartford where so many people care about women's basketball. Jen Rosati, thank you and uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. All right. Thanks. You too.